What's up guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. Very special day. We're the Miser Brothers and we're gonna show you the Back Road Driver Garage collection. Now, are we in a garage? Nope. We're in somebody's front yard that allowed us to use this house and we're very grateful for that. But we wanted to show you all the vehicles in one place on some really cool angles. We'll do a quick overview of each vehicle, answer a few questions that you guys have had in comments of our other videos. Keep in mind, we do have videos on every single one of these vehicles. My favorite feature on the 96 Bronco is this roll down glass in the back. That's pretty cool. My kids love riding in the back seat with that down. It's almost like open air um, and everything just blows right through the cabin. It's pretty awesome. My favorite thing on the Bronco is these 37s and this lift kit that's on here. It's not the best daily driver and right now this lift isn't very practical and doesn't actually even work that well, but we're gonna work on some of those things and get this thing to be a true off-road beast. So we've already told you it's a little bit of a beater for us and we're gonna be rough on it. Uh, tell us what you wanna see with the Bronco. Let's move on to a Shelby. GT 350 may just be the best driver's car by an American company ever. I know it came in second to the Porsche a couple years ago on Motor Trend's best driver's car, but this car actually costs about a third of what that Porsche costs. And it's a whole lot more fun because it has the manual and that Porsche just doesn't have that. This six speed Tremec manual is, it's different. You have to drive this car. You have to pay attention. You have to hang onto the wheel. Everything, else that's going on in life right then has to stop to be able to drive this gt350 i think it's the ultimate driver's car just like i'm brad's big brother the gt500 is the gt350's big brother i know what you guys want to see so i'm going to give it to you 760 horsepower of glorious american v8 this is the 5.2 Predator motor. It looks great under the hood. And after driving both the 350 and the 500 for just a few days now, back and forth, back and forth, it's a different driving experience. You definitely don't have the same engagement with the car. But this thing will rip your face off, man. I mean, it, it does things that the GT350 can't, but it's not you doing it. It's the car that's doing it. The arrow on this thing is a lot more exotic. This big black bar across the front. If you want the big snake, the big mean looking Cobra, you have gotta get the 500. This big black heat extractor hood is just, it's, this thing looks otherworldly. It looks more exotic than an American car. Guys, we put the GT350 back to stock because we thought we were getting rid of it for a short period of time there. For this summer, we're gonna have both of these cars in their stock form so we can compare them apples to apples, brother to brother, and see what we think about each one of these in their purest form. All right, comment down below. What do you wanna see us do? We've got both of Shelby's craziest inventions, the flat plane crank voodoo, the supercharged Predator, the most powerful Ford production car ever produced. Oh yeah, my 2021 F-150. Guys, I know this has brought a lot of you newcomers to our channel and we don't plan on stopping with the content anytime soon. Oh, it's not rubbing off, man. That is not rubbing off. You got your first scratch. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, I'm loving how, how this trucks came together. We have a video for all of these mods and we just put out a video where I tell you how much all of this costs to get to this point. Let us know in the comments, where do you want to see this truck go? What do you want to see next on this thing? Sky's the limit, guys. If you want to see entire videos of Sam's interior, this is the Lariat Sport, so it's kind of special. Uh, we've got an entire playlist on that, so check it out. We'll put a card right here, right now up top, and you'll also see it in the description and maybe even at the end of the video. the truck that launched the channel started it all a lot of you guys have been with us since day one since we went down to florida and picked this up at vmp performance with the odin supercharger and since then we've spent over thirty thousand dollars building this monster and being able to call it the wolf some of my favorite things about this truck are the front and rear bumpers we just finished a video where we walked around every single mod that we've got on the truck right now priced everything out 
but this rear bumper is really one of a kind. Sam worked really hard on the design and the execution, and we're the only F-150 that I know of in the world that has quad tip center bumper exhaust. We've got no trailer hitch, no spare tire. This truck's about one thing and one thing only, and that's going fast. What do you want to see with the Wolf? I'm going to show you the front bumpers, but go ahead and comment. What do you want to see us do with the Wolf? Does it need to get lower and faster? Do we need to drag race? If you've got a TRX and you want to race, even if it's modified, hit us up. We want to know what you guys want to see with the Wolf. Give us some ideas because we plan on having a big summer with this truck. We've got over $6,000 in this front bumper, I think. It's crazy. It's got all the coolest stuff. It's totally customized with the lead foot paint, and it really sets this truck off. The whole truck build uh, is not as expensive as you would think, and I encourage you to watch the video on how much it takes to build the Wolf. We'll put a card right here right now. Comment down below, guys. Let us know which one of these vehicles is your favorite. You're not going to hurt our feelings or anything. Be honest. We read every single comment that you put down below. Guys, be specific. Let us know exactly what you want. Heck, our dad told us to keep the GT350 and Brad did, so it's that easy, guys. It's that easy, just say it. We'll make it happen. Before you click on the next video, Sam's gonna get some sick drone footage and I'm gonna put it in right here. Guys, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the very next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.